Another strong weekend from yours truly. Cashed my big 5% on Texas Tech Saturday, then went 2-0 and in the NFL on Sunday. I'll have more on that in a little bit. But first, let's get to our five free plays for Monday. If you've been checking out the Power 5 over the last month, guys, you're on a 93-64-5 run. Go ahead and smash that like button if you've been enjoying all these free winners. For Monday, got a little something for everybody. Plays on both Monday Night Football games, two MLB plays, and an early look ahead to Saturday college football. Whenever you feel like it, go ahead and comment down below with your thoughts on these selections. We'll be starting in MLB by taking Toronto as a short home favorite against Boston. Look, I expect plenty of runs to be scored in this one. I get that Chris Bassett, the Blue Jays starter, has struggled at home this season. He even had his last turn in the rotation skipped. But this is more about wanting to fade Boston situationally. The Red Sox played a doubleheader Sunday at home versus Minnesota. And while they took both games, the bullpen is going to be a problem tonight. It's a bullpen in Beantown that has been the absolute worst in all of baseball since July 1st. The Boston bullpen's ERA is over a half run higher than any other bullpen in baseball during that time. Now, the usage wasn't necessarily as heavy as you might think yesterday, but five different relievers did see action over the course of the two games. And again, these guys have been bad for three months. I know Toronto got swept over the weekend in Tampa, but it's a good spot to come back and bet them currently around minus 120 on the money line. Number two, Giants plus 145 on the money line at the D-backs. A little plus price, taking the underdog. Again, this is more about fading one of the teams that a full-throated endorsement of the side will actually be betting. In my opinion, this sets up as a spot where Arizona is likely to be ambushed. They're returning home from a seven-game road trip, and Sunday saw them blow an eight-run lead and lose in Milwaukee. I say thank you very much because the Brewers were my 4% game of the week. Uh, Brew Crew stormed back in the bottom of the eighth. They scored four runs with two outs. So the D-backs, they seem quite vulnerable here. And the Giants, they just went to Kansas City and swept the Royals over the weekend, outscoring them 13-1 to over the course of three games. Back-to-back shutout wins for San Fran. Hayden Birdsong starting on Monday. I continue to think he's a little undervalued by the market. I know the results haven't always been there, but he's, he's pitched better than what some of the numbers show. Meanwhile, Eduardo Rodriguez for Arizona actually has a 5.84 ERA his last five starts, even though the team's 3-2 and two in those five games. And you got to believe the D-backs bullpen might be mentally broken after yesterday. So take the Giants at an underdog price. That's going to do it for MLB on Monday. As a reminder, I'm now 4-0-1, my last five baseball releases over at wagertalk.com. My top play for Monday is available there for just $15. It is a total, and I'm on a 9-2 and run with MLB totals over the last month. WT.buzz slash BP is, of course, where you go to get tonight's big total. Let's now go to Monday Night Football. Apologize for recycling some material here, but it is a short slate tonight. I like Jacksonville. Plus the points against Buffalo. I talked about this on Sunday's show. You can now get the Jaguars plus five and a half though. Again, this is mainly a trends play. Winless road teams off a home loss are now 82-43-3 and ATS the first five weeks of the season. That includes a perfect 3-0 and yesterday with Denver, Carolina, and Baltimore all getting the job done. It's the same situation here for Jacksonville. Furthermore, teams that are 0-2 and playing a non-0-2 team in Week 3, 53-32-2 ATS since 2010. That includes 73% ATS if they were favored in the previous game. Jacksonville was a favorite against the Browns last week. And 72% ATS if the opponent was an underdog last time out. Bills were slight road underdogs at Miami last Thursday. Just drilling down on Jacksonville a bit. This is a team whose two losses so far have been by a combined 8 points. A lot of pressure on them. Heads will roll if they fall to 0-3. I think the Jags, at the very worst, cover the spread. In the other game, we're going to take the over 46.5 in Commanders Bengals. Yes, Washington failed to score a touchdown last week in a wild 21-18 win over the Giants. They kicked seven field goals for that victory. But Washington moved the ball, 425 total yards. A lot of that came on the ground with Robinson, who could be in line for another big game here against a Bengals run D that was the worst in the league last season and had all sorts of issues stopping the run in week one against New England. But I also look for Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow to have a big night here against a Washington secondary that cannot cover receivers. T. Higgins expected back on the field for Cincinnati. That's big. After two weeks, this commander's defense 
ranked dead last in the league in EPA per play. Just think this total's a bit too low. So over 46 and a half, we go on that one. Guys, as I mentioned earlier, I was 2-0 in the NFL yesterday. Cashed my 4% best bet on the Colts and had an outright winner with the Panthers. That makes it a perfect 6-0 in NFL the last two weeks. And I'm still number one in football at wagertalk.com this season. Now hitting a combined 70% in NFL and college. A 19-8 and record. Just been such a great start to the season. Thank you so much, all of you who have gotten on board. And if you're not on board, right now is probably a good time to lock in with the subscription because if you buy a three-month all-access pass for $849, we'll throw in an additional fourth month of service free of charge. That is an instant $299 savings. So you're getting 120 days worth of plays at less than $49 per week and less than $7 per day. Massive savings. Just head on over to wt.buzz slash bp and subscribe today. Again, number one in football this season, hitting 70% in NFL and college combined. Let's wrap things up with a look ahead to Saturday and a game that is probably way off your radar. Not going to get a lot of shows here on Wager Talk TV. Talking about this one, UMass at Miami of Ohio. Miami of Ohio is going to be out for blood here, guys. Red Hawks are 0-3, but who are those three losses to? Northwestern, Cincinnati, and Notre Dame. This is a steep drop in class in terms of the opponent. UMass could barely beat an FCS school over the weekend. I've got the Minutemen power rated as the second worst team in the country right now. Very rare. Obviously, anyone who knows me, uh, they know it's very rare that I would tell you to lay 17 points in a college football game. But my power ratings say this spread is a full touchdown short. So we want to jump on this thing early here on Monday before the line gets steamed up. Miami should roll here against future MAC member UMass. Yes, UMass is heading to my neck of the woods, the Mid-American Conference, as a full-fledged member next year. Let us now recap the Power 5 for Monday because I threw a lot at you. MLB, Toronto, minus 120 over Boston. And the Giants, plus 145 against the D-backs. NFL, Monday Night Football, we got two games tonight. I got plays for both of you. Jags, plus five and a half against the Bills. And Commanders, Bengals, over 46 and a half. And then finally, play number five for Saturday, Miami of Ohio, minus 17 against UMass. You could go ahead, again, feel free to comment down below with any questions or thoughts on those plays. Drop your favorite bets for Monday as well. I love hearing from you guys. If you already haven't done so, go ahead, smash that like button, and make sure you're also subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, because not only do I have you covered daily here on the Power 5, but every Monday through Friday, it's myself and Mark Zinno doing the morning wager. That does it for this show here on Monday. Again, smash that like button if you're down with the Power 5. Until next time, guys, let's catch some tickets.